let me start with Sarah. What a great story. Was the miniseries faithful to your book? Oh, thank you so much. I love, love, love hearing that, um, that you enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I have to be careful how I answer this question because I adapted my own novel. So it was as faithful as I could get it. Um, but I don't think the point of an adaptation is to be 100% faithful. So what I was really aiming for was staying true to what I felt the emotional core of the story was, but making it something more cinematic um, thinking more about visual appeal and pace and amping up the bits of the story um, that I think perhaps in the novel may have been may have taken second second place to certain aspects. So for me in the TV series, it was much more important to focus on the love story, you know, which is really complex and passionate and kind of challenging between these two very interesting women. And also the who done it, which acts as much more of a frame for the series. Um, when we meet Franny, she is discovered lying next to the body of her dead mistress with whom she's been having this passionate affair and she's accused of murdering her and you know we go from there and so I really wanted much more than in the novel for that to be the kind of live wire the electricity that carries us through the story. Carla Simone what an incredible role there was so much to sink your teeth into because Franny goes through so much in the series what did you love most about playing her? everything <laughs> yeah like you said it was it was so much to sink my teeth into um yeah as an actor it's, it's a dream I, I got to play you know some really dark moments some really tender moments um doing the the love scenes with Sophie was really nice it was nice to have Franny feel loved especially after doing scenes that were quite um quite painful for her um yeah no it, it was incredible um I, I felt like I had free reign thankfully um as um as her and I, I was I felt like we were very much all on the same page so I felt like I could just really got to do what I wanted and just gave into kind of my instincts of what came to me from building her as a as a human being. Sara did you meet the actors beforehand did you have any say in casting? Uh, I had a little say in casting in that I saw important real so I I um, saw Carla's which was for me the big decision um, and I honestly couldn't be happier as you say you know it's just an incredibly complicated role and we really found the actor whose talents met what was required of them for the role I think I, you know I, I can't imagine anyone else as Franny now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, yeah, so I did have a little bit of say in it. And, uh, you know, I'm really pleased with the result. Carla Simone, I read that during the chemistry read, you and Patrick did, you immediately knew he was the one. What was it like working together? I love Pat. Like, we're really good friends now. I didn't know him beforehand. Um, but, yeah, when we did the the chemistry read, sometimes you just know, you kind of, you can feel like, when you're getting something from an actor and you can just imagine how it would be on set it's very electric um to the point where I think even Sarah felt so to write you know a, a scene for us um yeah just working with him was just really easy and just he's just a really stand-up guy and yeah and I, I wish we had more scenes together to be honest so good that we wrote an extra scene you know as soon as I saw them I actually went to show for the two of them Sara, I'm I'm just listening to the audio book right now, and you do all the accents in it. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you help any of the actors with their accents? Oh my God, no! In fact, I wish it was the other way around. I wish that we had cast this thing before I did the audio book, so I could have got them to help me. Because when I was recording the audio book, I remember distinctly every day saying, "Why the bumble clot? Did I put a French woman in this book?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say the Jamaican accents were okay. That's not true. I'll park that to come back to it. But, you know, I'm not an actor. I'm not trained in dramatic arts at all. And so, you know, I, I found it really intimidating to try to attempt Madame's French accent. But worse than that, I then remembered when I was in the process of doing this that I've got to attempt Jamaican accents. Having left Jamaica when I was four, I knew all of my Jamaican friends and family would crucify me if I got it wrong. <laughs> So, yeah, I, the whole thing from beginning to end was very nerve wracking. Well, it sounds great, the finished product, I have to say. <laughs> now, 
Carla, Simone, how did you work on Franny's accent? So I did a couple of sessions with a vocal coach because um, I, I think we weren't quite sure what kind of accent that um, Sarah and everyone was trying to go for because um, it's in the 1800s. Um, but yeah, my family's Jamaican, so I had like that them as a reference point. Um, and I just kind of, yeah, built up, like worked out the different sounds and just kind of felt it out a bit. And I think only really when the first day of like being Franny was when it really felt cemented because I felt like I had the corset on. I was like standing a certain way, breathing a certain way. And it just came out in this rich kind of tone of like just self-assuredness that just felt instantly right. And I was like, this is, this is her, this is Franny. And I just kind of, yeah, stuck with that. And yeah, just felt it out. Well, speaking of the corsets, what did you enjoy most or least about the period costumes? I loved it, to be honest. Like, it was like, you're dressing up, you know. I think as an actor, we always try and, like, go as far away from ourselves as possible. And I think dressing up in a, a corset and, you know, the big dresses is just completely not something that I would wear in my day-to-day -day life. So it just felt like I was completely transforming into another person. Um, and yeah, like I said, it really informed myself about Franny and how she breathed, how she carried herself, how she walked. Um, yeah, it was incredible. Loved it. Was there anything about your character's journey that shocked you? No, not at all. I, I think I think it was, oh, damn it. <laughs> when I, I found out the story, <laughs> darn it. Um, but not shocked because I was like, yeah, because, you know, Franny is a Jamaican, a young Jamaican woman. Um, and from that time period, I'm very much aware of like my history and of British history. Um, so yeah, it was like, it was more just disappointing to be like, you know, to remember that this is, you know, what people went through. It was quite sad and um, not nice at all. But yeah, I, I wasn't shocked. It was more like, oh, I'm, I'm ready for this. I know what kind of vision, like when I read the script, I, I knew the vision of what was trying to be made, if that made sense. I knew the kind of vein of the story and yeah, liked it. Did you get to speak to Sarah before filming began? Yeah, we did the we did the table read. Um and then after the table read, um Sarah was like asking me how how I felt about certain episodes and like which direction I thought they should go in, which was like, oh my god, me, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really honored. Um yeah, so yeah, Sarah's just been really lovely and really supportive, um, thankfully, because it could go the other way um when the author of the person who's created this character is involved. They could be like, I hate them, this is not why I'm <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't the case. Um, I think that gave me the confidence to just kind of, you know, have free reign and do what I want with the character. Sarah, what was it like to see your book enacted upon the screen? It is. It has been so surreal that I don't know if I will ever get used to it. Um, so it has been f full of stress. I will be honest about that. You know, it is a very nerve wracking process. You've got to, first of all, you've got to start by trusting um, work that you had kind of had sole creative control over into the hands of hundreds of people. But also you've got to trust, you know, characters that become very important to you in the hands of actors. And I think for me, the thing that makes all the stress worthwhile is you know, the immense pleasure I get from seeing actors like Carla Simone and Sophie Cookson and Patrick Martins. And, you know, really the whole cast, we were so lucky embodying these roles. I think to have Carla Simone in the lead has been a gift. And so every time I see it, I mean, she just knocks me out. Her performance, I think, is phenomenal. I feel really lucky because as she says, it could have been a disaster, you know, if if we hadn't been happy with each other, if I thought, uh, she didn't nail it, then we'd just be sitting in frosty silence right now. <laughs> but the fact that she not just met my dreams and expectations, but exceeded them and showed me so much more about what this character could be than I had even imagined, I think, you know, is one of the, so far, one of the biggest privileges of my professional writing life. Um, so I'm just delighted to be able to be here to witness it, her greatness in the role. <laughs> yes, she was 
fantastic, Carla Simone. You did such a great job. Mm-hmm. My eyes were drawn to you in every scene and you're in nearly every scene. So mm-hmm. uh, kudos to you and a great book that uh, you made into this mini series. I want to thank you both so much for chatting with me today. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes. For me too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, or if you're returning, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now, plus the notification bell in the top right-hand corner so you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. Also, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.